the things that we've tried to do in the department is to work in an interdisciplinary way and for students to get exposure to a lot of different artists. The Row Galleries try to focus on bringing in artists that are doing different things. So we're like a haven for experimentation and artists that are pushing the barriers. I was particularly interested as a ceramist to bring in people who were working with clay and to give students a wider exposure to what's going on out there in the ceramic world. We started working together in 2005, so we've been doing collaborative installations as part of a complement to our own individual studio practices. Each time we've been invited to do an installation, we try to look at how the work we make might complement the location and also some of our interests. So for Charlotte, we were very interested in the nickname of Charlotte, the Hornet's Nest. In the installation course, we are learning how to interact with the space. The concept of the work began collecting found objects that were no longer in need. As a student body, we were able to donate different types of found objects. In order to bring in our skills as a ceramic artist and also our love for ceramics, we decided to take our found objects and physically dip them into a slip. Which is a very thick, velvety, soft porcelain, kind of like melted ice cream. That unifies the multiples and also makes it many different types of white. And clay itself has these distinct shifts it goes through through time. The color changes and the value changes and the surface and textural changes are something that we can achieve in this type of work that's very different than fired ceramic work. students have in helping us form some of the first building blocks to get the sculpture started and as we move through the process they're immersing the objects into the slip then we begin attaching those pieces to the wall and looking at the composition as we go. They decided to title the show Evergreen Vespiary and Vespiary is another word for a nest. wasp or hornet doesn't build the nest by itself, it does so as a colony. So the students have really been part of the process from the very beginning through the construction of the actual piece. Mm -hmm. 